solar event when I smell her heaven scent. I see her luminescent eyes lit with blinding ultraviolet light as they cross my line of sight. I remind myself not to look directly at the sun as sound waves reverberate against eardrums. I hear the hip-hop beat of my heart start to play. I see her strut with a distinctive rhythmic sway as if she is dance floor and I am DJ. I hear the click click clatter of her steps play on pavement like bridge beats in cool Herb's Bronx basement. And her voice will freestyle over my throat beat box. My hip hop heartbeat has left my chest and is now pounding on my neck with a boom box. She touches my hand and presses clay. She checks the mic and says, hey. In her first verse, she calls me poet. Her next is a how are you? Her third before she passes the cipher is, where are you from? All sudden, the same breath as if she had an iron lung. And instead of internalizing my thoughts, I touch her hand. I hold her close as if I am MC and she is Mike Stands. I taste her kiss, and she tastes like sun sandwich between two lips. I almost blow my sensory overload. My first five senses are reeling like an old school cassette tape for a while, then playing electric relaxation all day. Honey, check it out, you got me mesmerized. With your back hair and your fat ass thighs. Street poetry is my everyday. But yo, I gotta stop when you drop my way. I touch her head and open an extrasensory telepathic projection to my mind. Her sixth sense simultaneously receives the connection as she enters my brain like a subliminal suggestion. The thought of her triggers a neural response sending synapse to skin like a strobe light. Like a crowd moves towards a fight, blood rushes to my cerebral cortex like sound system speakers bumping beats in a swirling vortex. She speaks to me. Adores the unity. You and I to the day we die, she says. And even then we will live on in the life after hours spent listening to underground boom bat beats sliding skin in the heat. I feel her breath living against me in death and she warns me. Adores the rhyme. Feminine thrown out in my poetry flowing like spoken clothes. Gently, I remove her clothes. Dropping like a fat ass beat, tapping toes, nodding heads. We read from the same book. Two literary lovers press against each other as pages between covers. I bookmark my spot. Between chapters containing infinite information, mine is text, hers, an illustration, and a photograph. I wink at her, or rather, I take a mental snapshot. A memory of the murder in my heart heard beneath the hip hop. And our poetry is picture perfect. Surprisingly pleasant. So easy on my six senses that I wish I had a seventh.